made by some organisation called Schindler. Do you think it's the same Schindler? Like from Schindler's List? So it's Schindler's Lifts. <laughs> Schindler's Lifts. And it was passed down wrong. No, I didn't make a list. Yeah. <laughs> you must have, no, I made, I made lifts. <laughs> Yeah, I, joking. I was joking. Spielberg was going, I've made a whole film about it. was three it. hours, it was in black and white, for God's sake. Was it, what, where'd you get the lifts? There was no lifts in it. I thought it was a list you made. <laughs> no, I made lifts. <sighs> oh. Anyway, next time we're in the lift, check it. that out, that is true. Uh, anyway, we've got, yeah, we've got three tickets for the, uh, four, three, sorry, three pairs of tickets for the four who are performing tonight at Kentish Town Forum. If you'd like to win them, here's a question for you. Which Radio 1, rival station, which Radio 1 personality used to be a member of the four? If you know, then you can get in touch on 08700 800 1234. Uh, or it's ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Is it Chris Moyles? I don't want to give it away. Is it John Peel? I don't want to give it away. Okay. okay. I don't want to give it away. Okay. I've got two words for you. <laughs> Emma D. X. XFM would like to apologise for material broadcast on November the 8th on The Breakfast Show with Christian O'Connell. The show featured the comedian and author Ben Elton. XFM would like to point out that during live interviews, we cannot realistically expect to control the language and content of our guest material. However, Christian would like to offer a full and frank apology for the fact Mr. Elton appeared to have overdosed on the arsehole tablets that morning. Christian would like you to know that the dullard will never be on again. We really are sorry. This is XFM. It is indeed. We're just looking at the uh, the Polaroids, the test the photographers do. And I'm not all happy. No, do you know what I mean? Though? It's, it's like I kid myself. I must walk around. It, it, it does take mirrors and photographs. And I go, oh, no, yeah, I forgot I look like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Sort of like, you look at that. Look, yeah. at, tree look at me, Rick, there. That's always with me. Oh. There was a bloke downstairs thought I was Johnny Vegas. He was going, I love those adverts with a monkey. I didn't have the nerve to say I'm not him. At one point, he actually said, I like that one when he hits you. And I went, yeah. He went, you do any more adverts? And I went, yeah, I'm doing a couple more. <laughs> I just thought, God, it's gone too far now. I can't say I'm not Johnny Vegas. So I'm not really listening to it because I want to say to you, can you get me more square on? Yeah. The square on, I'm not so bad. It's from the side. Yeah, the side looks bad. All right, come on, Rick. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were, Carl, what do you make of that? Pretty face. Yeah, this isn't this isn't great radio. No, it's not. I know, I know we never do do great radio. <laughs> yeah. But this, this is really really isn't. this is some of the worst we've done. Yeah. And um, we were talking um uh, before about um uh, Schindler's lifts. Yes. Like those people just like like one thing mm. uh, and uh, they're famous for that. Now, do you think the Monopoly commissions should investigate Armitage Shanks? Yes. Because I've never seen never another, seen another sink or toilet made <laughs> by anyone else. No. Did they, when would they? When did they take over this? Can you hear that clicking? Yeah. Would you just stop just for a second while we're just just doing? Because like, he can't talk. Because he's trying to make himself look so handsome. Well, exactly. I've got to keep striking poses. Does sort of look normal? I I've just changed my mind. I want to. You know. You remember that George Michael video where he doesn't appear. He just gets supermodels to play him. Yeah. Or kind of replace him. Can we yeah. do that maybe instead? Just yeah. Just get a leggy blonde in. In, 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 uh, yeah, in our place, like five people. Exactly. Instead of, th this is Steve. Exactly. But he looks like five women. Yeah, no, that is Steve. And so you were talking about Shanks. Yeah, Shanks, Armitage. They've, they've got it sewn up. They've sewn they it have, haven't they? Up. Yeah. When do they sort of like get I don't know big? who the Shanks people are. I don't think they make anything else, though. I've never seen them making anything else other than lavatories and sinks. They seem to have got that. So, so who went, we are going to make, we're going to make so many urinals that there's going to be too many urinals. No one's going to have a, a look in. When everyone, when anyone's out having a slash, they're just going to be thinking, yeah. Armitage but Shanks. But presumably there's someone called Armitage Shanks. He's got his be. name all over that. You know, whenever you meet him, you're just thinking, oh, I've had a waz. Arm Arm Armitage Shanks. Arm Arm Armitage Shanks. Is waz a word we can say? Waz, can't we? Yeah, or yeah, piss or so. slash. <laughs> yeah, either of them's fine. <laughs> oh. You two walk on. See, I like you two again now. I yeah. liked them sort of, you know, in the very early days. Mm -hmm. And I hated them for about 15 years. And then the last album, this, and Beautiful Day, I think, really good. Uh, Thanks for they've, that. they've lost all their pomposity, don't you think? I, th I saw I one of them saying that the, he felt this was the best album they've ever made. I, I tell you what, I'm not going to argue with them, whoever it was, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Could well have been The Edge, not sure. Could have been Larry Mullen. Real name, David Evans. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yep. Uh, Rick, you may recall that some time ago we gave people the opportunity to win some tickets for the fall performing live at the Kentish Town Forum this evening. Supported by Schindler. Schindler. I know you're a big fan of them. And uh, we have some winners. I could have made more lifts. <laughs> the question I set was which Radio 1 personality used to be a member of the fall. We did have some wrong answers. Uh, wrong answers included <laughs> Gary Davis. No, I imagine him in the fall. Um, oh, that is brilliant. Noel Edmonds. 
<laughs> and of course, uh, Ed Stupot Stewart. Oh, what's Nolly? happened to Noel Edmonds? What's happened to lovely Nolly? No, <laughs> Noel's just utterly doomed, isn't he? No one will employ him now, it seems. Well, well, we don't know that. That's probably libelous. How is that libelous? Well, he might he might be turning down stuff and therefore might be sort of waiting for a big comeback with Noel's house party 2002 oh, for so you, no, you're like, it is libelous. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out, Rick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really Lawrence thinking, that's not libelous. No, actually, good point. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so the winners are Minna, who's <laughs> from Finland, apparently, according to uh, these notes here. Uh, Minna. Wh wh well. Why is that funny? Well, how would she have called him from Finland? Well, no, when someone says, where are you from, you, uh, she might have been here for, like, a year. I go, well, Finland. Well, I've embarrassed myself. Sorry yeah. about that, Rick. Thanks for tearing me apart. That was fascinating radio. <laughs> uh, Vinny's also <laughs> one. He's from Surrey. Oh, go imagine, imagine coming from Surrey. And uh, Tom Prince from Canada. What a great name, Tom Prince. They're all the lucky winners. I think we've lost it. Mm. No, I was really good the first few weeks. Thought, yeah, and even the first hour. But these last twenty minutes, I feel that I've bored myself. Yeah. What's happened? I think it's because you keep picking me up on every single thing I say. It can't help, surely. I'm and then if it's not you, it's Carl having a go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's more going for your looks. I'm more working on your personality. Right, sure. But together... So it's my fault now that the show's going No, but now. it's like, you know, we're sort of like your mentors. You've got to be harsh. It's like you're like Eliza Doolittle. <laughs> and we've got, a, we've got lots of little stylists in, like they do with, like, you know, makeovers and that, all that yeah. faking it. They're getting, like, me and Carl. Carl's working on your looks. I'm doing your personality. We're going to get, like, stylists in and, you know, coaches. And then you have to do a date. And the woman asked, and there's three other blokes, and she has to w work out what the freak yeah. amongst them is. And you've got to go, no one voted for you as the freak. Yeah, Rick, I've known you for three years. I don't think you're cutting for that job. <laughs> Armada, Superstar on XFM 104.9. Mm -hmm. It's nearly the end of the show, Steve. It is. I'm going to try harder next week. Yeah. I mean, it started off well, and then I, I, I didn't get bored. I just didn't, I couldn't concentrate. I know what you mean, I know what you mean. I mean, I thought I tried hard early on with the anecdotes that yeah. embarrassed me and which Carl just used as... Uh, well, I had, I had the funny, the funny bullshit t-shirt I had. And sure. And the, you know... Well, I had the woman, you know, walking around in my clumpy I shoes. I had the washing with me. Oh, they the were shirts. classic anecdotes, Rick. Oh, I love the first hour. <laughs> I love the first hour. There should definitely be a, a, a sort of show on Saturday evenings yeah. on XFM with Kate, Kate Thornton. Thornton and, uh, and Richard of, Blackwood. Blackwood would be good. Moyles in, go. Just remember oh, the first happened. hour they used to... Oh, it'd be great, wouldn't it? That'd be lovely. Oh, it'd be yeah, amazing. Yeah. There's people taking our photographs, which I'm not happy with. No, I'm honest. honest. I'm going to have someone. I know you've, I'm mean, only joking. He stopped. I was, only, I was only joking. Oh, I've offended someone, which I don't like to do. And then we all the stuff about... Um, I'm worried, lift, though... Go I'm, on. I'm worried because I didn't know that the photos were going to be taken. Yeah. That we won't seem quite as hip and bang with the kids as we thought we would, on account of wearing these tuxedos. I'm telling you now, that is ironic. We are down by law. This next uh, track is Ice Cube. It was a good day. It's uh, my selection for the hip hop track. Yeah. As yeah. you know, we, we, we want to spread the word of. Um, a lot of people don't seem to realise that hip hop is music as well, and it's out there, and it should be enjoyed by kids. I and mean, at the moment, it's kind of quite an eclectic thing, you know, it's very yeah. underground. Yeah. We're trying yeah. to bring it into the mainstream. Yeah, and uh, in this, you know, Cube says it was a good day, you know, simple things like he didn't use his AK. That's the sort of world he lives in, that's what he's trying to get across. And it talks to you about your life. Sure. Yeah, respect it. <laughs> There you go. Ice Cube, it was a good day. Great song. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've got a great song coming up as well. I have indeed. It's the song for the ladies, Rick. We'll leave people with that. Uh, have you seen the film Magnolia? I have. It's one of the most underrated movies. It didn't get a single Oscar nomination. It's absolutely fantastic. Breathtaking cinema. Yeah, it's Made fantastic. by the guy that made Boogie Nights. Absolutely fantastic. Tom Cruise is in it, loads of people. And the soundtrack is uh, entirely written by uh, Amy Mann. Mm. Now, I don't know if she's normally the sort of person they play on XFM, but she's a singer-songwriter of great skill, I think. Yeah. And this is a song that features in one of the most breathtaking moments it's in the film. Amazing when they Incredible all sing, yeah, they all brings it together. It is, you know, uh, we won't come across obviously. Uh, no, here, but it's, nevertheless, it's, it's a good song. song. It's called Wise Up. We'll be playing that in a second. But otherwise, Rick, that's it, isn't it? That is it. Could, uh, what will you be doing tonight, Steve? What we're we doing tonight, Rick? Um, probably gonna be <laughs> all staying in. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, what, what, yeah. What, what, and doing what? Oh, though? uh, watching some telly. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. That's not all. If I know <laughs> you, did I see a couple of cans of wheat lager in your carrier bag? I did sneak them in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna drink them both tonight, are you? What are you, my mum? Okay, so that'll be what you want. Oh. Will you be sleeping alone again? If I play my cards oh. right. <laughs> Will you be having a little tug? Just I'm going to get yourself be, up to sleep. I'll probably have a couple. Can't okay. pull the tugs. Is, is there something saucy on Channel 5? I will. XFM 104.9. Here's Wise Up. Amy Man, enjoy it.
FM 104.9. Dandy Warhol's Bohemian Like It was the Ricky Gervais show. With Steve Merchant? Yeah, exactly. And Carl, who's Carl's turned in. our microphones on. We yeah. Can't believe it. Good to see you, Carl. Good to see you, Ricky. Cheers. Cheers. Now, in a, in a fun-filled and music-filled show, We've got music and fun. Yes, looking forward to that. Two hours, solid two hours. There's no gaps. There's nothing. There'll There's be no, no dead air. air. There will be adverts sometimes. There'll be adverts, yeah, yeah but I mean, you know, that that's what's what pays our wages, isn't it, really? Certainly, certainly. And some of the adverts, I think, are quite amusing. <laughs> yes, no, um, I think the ones that you're on. Yeah. Uh, we've got um, our hip-hop challenge. We've got Song for the Lovers, Song for the Ladies. Yep. We've got a film review. So Magnificent. Just, Had yeah. any calls about that, Rick? Any, maybe Channel 5 or someone onto you? No, they haven't, no. That's no, strange, that's no. weird. No, but uh, it, it's. I think it's a, a bit of a head of its time because it's very unique. Sure, it's sure. Not like film, yeah. Is it? It's sort of like. Yeah. It's a yeah. bit, a bit out there. Yeah, Anything yeah, caught your eye uh, this well, week, Steve? Well, I, uh, I know you, that both you and I uh, are kind of obsessed with these people who believe in you know people who can predict the future or yeah. have got contact with the dead or whatever. Yeah. And uh, I know Mystic Meg's a bit of a nonsense, but people do take her seriously. On the cover of the Sun today. Mystic Meg won me 15 million quid. Wow. Right, you're thinking, that's not, that's a pretty amazing claim. I know that Carl believes in Mystic Meg and all that sort of rubbish, you know. You're thinking, wow, here at last is proof that she has got powers. And you're wondering to yourself, well, maybe, yeah, which is incredible, which is absolutely yeah. incredible. And so there's this guy, uh, Lottery Mad Tom Naylor, he's a, a lorry driver, right, he won 15 million quid. Yeah. He says, um, I always read my horoscope in the sun and follow the advice. Uh, basically, what Meg said was, keep a lottery ticket in a yellow mug to add luck. So you're thinking, well, okay, so he's kept his ticket in a yellow mug. That's still pretty extraordinary. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't have a yellow mug, says Tom, so I put the pages of my map book, uh, so I put the ticket in the pages of my map book, which is yellow. Right. He's used, he's used mm. the yellow. No, he's used the <laughs> yeah, yellow. Yeah, no, see, I'm, I don't know much about how Mystic Meg works. I'm assuming maybe there's some kind of pseudoscience that she applies. Yeah. I think if she'd said, put it near anything yellow, fine. Yeah. She said, put it in a yellow mug. That's pretty specific. Yeah. From that, he's thought, well, I'll, well, I'll ignore it? Meg's advice. I always do what she says if she's, she says, well, put it in a yellow mug. She's, she's had two sort of like, you know, um, uh, points of reference there. Mm. The descriptive, the yellowness of the object yeah. and the object itself, the sure. noun should be a mug. Yeah. What's missing in the yellow book is the mugness. The mugness is it's, one it's of the got, It's got elements. lots of bookness, but yeah. it wasn't the bookness that gave him the <laughs> exactly. million. Exactly. So, uh, exactly. I reckon, I reckon Mystic Meg won me seven and a half million. Right. Would have been a more <laughs> right. accurate. Sure, yeah. sure, yeah. So, I, mean, I don't know, what, Carl, do you think that that's pretty spooky? And weird, unnatural stuff. So, I'm just a bit livid today. I wasn't really listening to what you were saying. Not paying attention. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Do you so, want to notify so, us before? Yeah. You know, we so ask you, you are giving to us. As, go on. What, no, what? would have just been nice if you would have like warned me you were going to ask me about it. I'm just just a bit right. livid. Go I'm on. Just, what about? Just. just have I done something? About. No, no, not you two. Just, just a bit livid. <laughs> XFM 104.9. <laughs> Stand clear. Adam F, MOP. We all know who's dad Adam F is. Who was no. it? Again? We all know who's Adam F's dad of. We all of no dads. Do we? Rick, can you keep it, keep filling? Because I've realised I've left my mobile phone on and the kind of calls I'm going to be getting on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah, I'll just keep yeah, uh, No, 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 it's just. Oh, that was Adam F and MOP. Stand clear. We all know Adam F's got a dad. Oh, done it again. Do you remember the trivia quiz? I forgot it. Whose dad is Adam F? Elvin Stardust. Yes, Shane Fenton. That's what the F must be for. You back? That's done. Yeah. Yeah, we wouldn't want to be. Oh, oh all the people call that are calling you all the time. <laughs> oh, the ladies. Oh, God. Anyway, XFM 104.9. We're going to start big, now. Um... We're going to start now. This is proper radio from now. Go. <laughs> Go. Oh, there's a lot of pressure on me now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to muck it up. <laughs> um, now, uh, I, Rick, I know you're a big trivia fan. I know you're mm. obsessed with trivia. And I thought Don't to myself, it. well, how can I entertain Rick on Saturday? Go on. So I was uh, wandering around on the web looking for. Um, uh, Trivia, basically, that yeah. it could entertain you. Yeah. And you're a big animal trivia. I love you? animal facts. There's not much that you don't know about animals. Oh. But here's uh, you're something. You catch me out now, aren't you? No, well, I don't know. Um, here's one. I don't know if you heard this one before. Ants yeah. never sleep. No, I know. Yeah. Oh, I know. And, 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 to say and they've got alcohol in their blood, so they don't freeze and winter. Yeah. And that's why you never see a lazy ant. It's always working. Mm. It's drunk, mm. but it's always well, they, they never sleep, but they do take a lot of fag breaks. Yeah, <laughs> I know, yeah. I think it's because they can't sleep because it's like noisy neighbours. There's mm. about a million of them yeah, living like sometimes in a room. Mm. And they just, it must be very... But you see them, you see them carrying a leaf and they see someone else and they go, do you want a hand with that? And they go, don't be silly, you're carrying some at eight times your body weight as it is. He mm. goes, well, you know, I've got another pair of hands free. Yeah. Give you a hand. Yeah, yeah they're great no, they're hands. incredible. They're incredible. Yeah, I knew that one next. Um, okay, well, right, this is, uh, this is one I'm throwing right at you as well, Carl. Uh, there's only one bird... That has a penis. It's Which not, it's not it? a joke. It's no, not, it's not, not a joke. It's not a joke. Okay. This is a genuine trivia question. 
I'd say, oh, I'll say, I think I've seen one on this. Uh, is it an ostrich? Right, you're going for ostrich, Carl? I'll go for ostrich as well. Right. Did you come up with that yourself, or? <laughs> yeah, I was okay. going to say that before right. you said it. Well, uh, guys, you went for ostrich. Chicken? You're both wrong. It's actually the swan. <laughs> I the last the chicken. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> I mean, mm. That's a bit worrying then, because I thought I saw an ostrich penis, so what was I looking at? I don't know, were you just examining it closely at the zoo? What were no, you? I just, I was just... It was probably a strap-on. It was probably two lesser ostriches giving yeah. each other one. <laughs> exactly. And I just, and that, that's, that's how that can influence people, things like that. Dirty, filthy, lesser <laughs> ostriches can... Confuse a child if I he's know. at the zoo and he doesn't know. A swan's got on, that's really annoying. Like, I'd oh, I'd never give a swan a knob. Mm. It's the little, the, it's the little puffiest of it all birds. It is the puffiest of all birds. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm protected by the queen. Mm. I, but I need a knob. I'd give, if I had to give a knob to any bird, um... <laughs> Good question. No, no. no. I wish I'd post that myself. If the, you could give a, no a, a knob <laughs> to any bird, what would it be? Phone in. A vulture. A, oh, of course a vulture. That, they need... Uh, a a big vein yeah. bank thing. Yeah. What about yeah. yourself, Carl? If you could give a knob to any bird. And don't make it rude. Or if I could give a knob to any bird, what I'd make bird it What bird do you see up? Um, it's got to be a bird of prey or something like that, hasn't it? It's the robin, really. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, that just would be Christmas huge. cards would be like... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, but, <laughs> the, but it's, it's a normal human-sized yeah, knob exactly. on a robin. That would be, be, be great, wouldn't it? Be and the other thing annoying about this, this is, this is ironic, right? Now, all the male of all bird species are usually, they're called cock. Yes. Right. But the only bird with a cock, yeah. right, is called a cob. Is that what a swan's called? Yeah, they're cob cock? and pen, they're not cock and hen. That's And name. he's got a, they've, he isn't a cock, but he's got a cock. Yeah, yeah. Qu quick query there, Rick. Go on. When you said then cock, yeah. presumably you meant male bird yeah. the first time you said it. Yeah. The second time you said it, you said cock. Do yeah. you mean the, the penis? Well, you're showing off the whole farce of radio broadcasting. Because you're not really allowed to say cock. No, exactly, no. One cock would be, cause great offence. Yeah. The other cock's fine. <laughs> exactly. It's weird, isn't it? It is strange. It is strange. So, I mean, if we said, if I said now to you, you know, um, oh, I like cocks. Yeah. Meaning birds. Yeah, that's that'd fine. That would be fine. Yeah. But if I meant penises, it would be a problem. If you like cocks, it was pre- yeah, yeah, you'd right. yeah, that would be- Carl, yeah. do you like cocks? <laughs> do you like cocks? No. Right, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I was asking if you like- No, I like, I like, you know. Yeah. I like well, I mean, I'm a big fan of, um, tits. The small birds the that small come bird. down and peck at you. Yeah. Yeah, you like tits yeah. and cocks. There's nothing... <laughs> tits and cocks. There's nothing wrong with... There's nothing... Carl, don't worry. There's nothing wrong no, with saying tits and I cocks. No, when I said tits, I meant the little birds. Yeah, they and when I said down. cocks, I mean the little... The, yeah. the big birds. Yeah. Do you know, when, um... <laughs> go on, no, go on. <laughs> no, um, it's just that... It's when you're talking about tits. Yeah. Um, you know, at the milk. Do, uh, do you... They, they, they... I like the fact they flutter away when they hear the milkman coming. Oh, well, come on. So when... What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? No, when the milkman's coming, when he's walking up the road. Ash, and sometimes, lovely song. Got to apologise to our producer there, because he was worried about... It was bit, there was nothing wrong with it. It's just like saying, you what, you know, you like watching birds in the yeah, garden. Just like, I think you're better than that. I know, it's cheap, isn't it, to say, like, we like yeah, tits. I like tits. Yeah, I like... Cops. So, are we a bit more literary now? One of my favourite things is Fanny by Gaslight. Really? That's yeah. interesting, that's interesting. I'm a big fan of Moby Dick. Oh, the, oh yeah, the book, Moby yeah. Dick, yeah, 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 not the medical condition, there's no, nothing no, 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 in no, no, your, no, 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 it's the no, big, no. horrible thing that used to swallow semen. Yeah. Now, I, in the winter, Yeah. Steve, go on, there's nothing I like more than yeah. to keep my hands warm in a muff. <laughs> no, sure, sure, sure. You mean those kind of furry things that sort of classy looking ladies? Yeah, posh ladies on. often <laughs> put their hands. <laughs> yeah, you, know, uh, you know when you go <laughs> have a nice like a party and they're leaving. Nice party, yeah, a winter they, party, and you might take the wrong hat or something. There's nothing I like more than to see two posh women with their hands in each other's muffs. <laughs> oh, that's always. A and they're going, oh, this must be yours. Yeah, that is, is always funny. Yeah, that's always yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, but seriously, no, no. I'll start this. You're right. I've got. A my, I think I, I just I just remembered that my favourite Beatles song is "Come Together." Yeah. Now we're going to stop this now, Carl, because it's childish. Uh, I, 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 you're right. I've got a philosophy degree, for yeah. Christ's sake, and it's it's about time. Who's your favourite philosopher? Do you mind me asking? Well, I would tell you, except when I ever talk about it, I go into a Cockney accent. Really? So it can be like my favourite philosopher. I like a bit of Kant. Right. Is that Immanuel Kant, yeah. the philosopher? Yeah. That's strange. Yeah. That's strange. What's his name again? Can't. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That can be weird. Can be strange. Look at Carl's oh, look face. Look at his face. Look at his face. Join oh. in, Carl. Oh, Undo your trousers. Just we'd be like out. Stan Boardman when out. he told the Fokker joke. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we won't do local radio again <laughs> for ten years. <laughs>
B and Brown, Dolphins Were Monkeys. Yep. Before that, I don't know what that was. <laughs> um, I'm still pissed off that Swans have got 